Hi, welcome. Today I have a quick class for you working on the arms and the shoulders. We'll be doing five exercises and we'll do quite a few repetitions <laughs> to tire out those arms. So if you are ready for it, you can meet at the mat here with me seated. Find a wider stand, bend your knees, and we'll begin by doing five body rolls to one side. Ah, just warming up, preparing to work out. And let's reverse the circle, other side. Three more. And two. Last one. And straighten, narrow stance again. Lift your arms to bring the knee to the chest and down, knee to chest and down. And then releve or lift your heels and down again. Knee and knee, lift your heels up. All right, let's go. Lift your heels. Two more. Find your balance. Last one. Up and down all right let's roll down to the floor then roll up again lift your arms and try to lift your heel off as you bring that knee to your chest Ooh, super hard <laughs> all right let's come down other side knee to chest ah harder than i thought <laughs> let's roll down we'll do it three more times so maybe we can do first the knee and then lift the heel off. Yeah, that's, that's better for me. First the knee, and then lift the heel. <laughs> Come back, roll down. You have two more. All right, so if your balance is as poor as mine, <laughs> then don't worry. Uh, it kind of depends from day to day, although I've always kind of struggled with my balance. So there are ways to work on that and check out i have a video on that so you can check out those exercises last one knee to chest and lift knee to chest and lift up oh getting better <laughs> let's roll down again this time you'll walk out to a high plank and you'll do three push-ups here one and two and three, then walk your hands, no, your feet to your hands and roll up to standing at the front of your mat. Let's roll down, walk your feet out, three push-ups, one, two, three, feet to hands and roll up, one more, walk out to plank and three push-ups, one, and two and three beautiful let's bring those knees to the floor all right beginning our first exercise you'll twist to one side kicking that leg through coming all the way over to your back then come back to that original position just hovering your knees off the floor all right so you'll kick this is my right leg all the way through and then twist back so we'll move a little bit faster than this but not too fast because you don't want to be swinging and using momentum rather it's your muscles ah, that are making you move <laughs> all right one more on each side Beautiful. Now let's do it again, kicking the left leg through. And this time, you'll kick it all the way up to a triangle, lifting that leg off the floor, high, high up. Stay with that same leg, come down to the floor, kick it through, and then up the triangle. Let's go. Kick it through. And off this triangle, 
can't speak. <laughs> Again. Make sure you're hitting all those positions in between. Let's do one more. Kick through. And come up here. Left knee to mat. Extend your right leg. Kick it up. And then bring your left knee to your chest. Pick up the right foot. Knee to chest. You have four. Three. Two. Last one. Come to knee stands. And we'll squat down and lift up. Eleven more. Squat down. Push your hips through. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Don't rest your don't rest your butt <laughs> on your heels. Five. Four. Three. Last one. Hands behind your head. You'll walk up and down. Make sure that you're alternating which foot or leg <laughs> is starting. So you're doing the same amounts of repetitions on each side. Try to stay low here. It gets pretty tough after some time. Elbows wide. Oh, let's go. Four. Three. Two. Last one. All right, come to that hover position again. We'll kick through with our right leg, coming up to that triangle pose. Remember? All right, let's go. Coming to hover and then twist, kick through nice and slow. Really feel that core having to adjust and work at the cross in the diagonal and at the front. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> Maybe the sun is kind of hitting me. <laughs> Let's do two more. And now for the last one. All right, stay up in this triangle. Right knee to the floor. Extend your left leg. And then right knee to chest. Extend the leg up. Knee to chest. Four. Three. Two, last one, come to knee stance. This time we'll hinge back 12 times. So try to keep yourself straight and you'll feel it at the front here. Eight more. If you have to double up your mat, you'll do so. If this is too hard on your knees. Six, five, four, three, ah, feel it on the front here, two, one, beautiful, let's come up to standing, we'll do a pistol squat and then catch yourself at the bottom and push up, all right, other side. Pistol down, nice and slow. Ah, catch yourself and come up. Only four more, because this is not fun to do. <laughs> Three. Try to not dump down. One, two more, one on each side. Last one. 
Ah. All right, push off and just come all the way down. Sitting at the front of the mat. Release your, release your arms in front of you. We'll do a C curve and then extend. Five more C curves, so hollowing behind your navel. Four. Ah, catch your breath now. <laughs> Three or two more rather. This one will stay here. Arms move up and down. Up and down. See how you have to knit those ribs together when your arms are moving. Two more. And now let's do it together. So arms come up. We extend the back. Arms come down. Curve. Five. Three. Two. No. Four. <laughs> Three, <laughs> ah, two, last one. Let's come up, extend the legs, and you'll do a rainbow tap out to the side and in, out to the side and in. So see how you have to draw that navel to the spine. Although try to keep your back straight, try not to curve too much, but we have to find that hollowing in the lower abdomen or else the leg is not going to move. Ah, a few more. You can do it. Maybe four. Four. Three. And two. Last one. Beautiful. Let's dive over those legs. Bring that hollow all the way down to the floor and extend your arms at the mat here arms come up roll up you'll dive over your legs but catch yourself and lift your legs off the floor now compressing that abdomen let's go down seek the floor with your vertebras coming up keep that hollow now catch yourself and shh. all right beautiful let's go a few more so trying to combine some Pilates and calisthenic, I guess classics, you could say. <laughs> so you begin diving and then compress. Beautiful. We have three more coming up. Try to use your abdomen to lift your legs. Ah, only two more. And don't worry if your legs are not actually lifting, you'll get there. Just try to visualize and you'll get there slowly but surely. Bring your knees to your chest and now lift your tailbone off the floor. Come down and extend your legs. So with your breath, knees to chest and then come off the floor and extend. You have four more knees to chest. Tap up and extend. Knees to chest. Tap up and extend. Only two more in your own tempo. Come in, lift your tailbone and down. All right, last one. and down feet to the corners of the mat you'll roll up and then twist over one leg and roll back down ah beautiful twist over the other leg and come down ah a few more maybe nine more feel how the side of your abdomen really has to work here. Now, if you want to, you can think to tap your knee to the outside of the opposite shoulder. That can be helpful to really get that twist in your upper body. I'm pretty sure we have six left. Five. We're not done working on the core, although 
I'm getting pretty tired. <laughs> Let's do two more. And last one. All right. Let's come to a ball. Lift your chest up. You'll lift your legs and extend your arms. And then you'll come up to a teaser, either with straight legs or you can bend them if that's better for you. And then come back to that ball. All right, so let's extend first and then come up to a teaser. And then slowly, knees to chest, slowly come down to a ball. Whew, only four more. Extend, come up to teaser, knees to chest, slowly back to ball. Ah. Extend, knees to, no, teaser, <laughs> knees to chest, and extend, come up to teaser, ah, can't talk, <laughs> and back to ball, last one, and slowly come to a ball, beautiful, let's extend again, and stay here for 10, 9, Eight, three, two, one. Beautiful. Ah, knees to chest. Just rock back a few times. Ah, that was so hard. <laughs> All right, rock back one more time to come up to seated and swing your legs behind you. Make your way down onto your belly, and we'll finish off with some back exercises the legs to the corners of the mat rest your forehead on the palms of your hands you lift the chest up and come down in five four three two last one do the same just with the legs lift the legs up and down five four three two last one beautiful lift the chest and then clap your hands behind you come back front lift up clap your hands if you can and reach in front of you four more and reach front and three and front and two and front last one and stay here, lift your legs as well. Have a more narrow position, and we'll just go for a swim. So bat your legs and your arms, and keep your core still. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and relax. Ah, push yourself up and back to a child's pose, resting your Sit bones onto your heels. Three breaths here. Roll up through the spine and then you're going to kick one leg in front of you, in between your hands and get yourself a little release on that psoas. So the hip flexor and of course if you want to you'll grab that opposite foot if you need to if you want to so we've been working a lot on the front of the body which is typical <laughs> for Pilates it's nice to get a little, little bit of release on the front there let's come back to the floor just push back for a few seconds here and then we'll just switch the legs kicking the other one in between your hands so to feel it in your hip flexor you want to tuck your pelvis here and maybe have a straight spine so you could come up here and sit down in the middle if you curve your spine too much you're going to feel it in your lower back just be mindful of that and grab that foot if you need to. <sighs> and 
and relief and swing that leg back I will meet seated at the mat crossing at the ankles closing the class as usual reaching the arms up inhale exhale relax round yourself two more inhales reach up exhale center your spine last one inhale reach and exhale good job <laughs> thank you so much for being here with me today if you enjoyed this class please do subscribe to my channel and maybe drop me a like i do upload once a week similar classes to this uh, mainly pilates calisthenics dance workouts bartania fundamentals somatic lots of good stuff so i hope to see you here again and until next time bless you ciao